Okay, number 32. The average score of all pro golfers for a particular course has a mean of 70, standard deviation of 3.0. Suppose 36 golfers play the course today. Find the probability that the average score of 36 golfers exceeds 71. There are a couple ways to do this one. I'm going to show you the, the way it was um, I showed you in the class. Let's draw this out. Okay, we can assume normality here. As we got a mean of 70. Standard deviation of 3.0. And we have 36 golfers, right? So that's important. So we're going to have to find our standard error here. Our standard error of the mean, right, is, remember the formula? is sigma divided by the square root of n. So in our case, it's going to be 3 over the square root of 36. So 3 over square root of 36 is 6, which is 0.5. So our standard deviation, or standard error, is 0.5 of the sample. So we want to know that it exceeds 71. We'll just put 71 right here. So we are going to use, on the calculator, the norm CDF command, right? So norm CDF. And recall the syntax, left bound, comma, right bound. So the left bound is 71. Right bound goes out to what number? Infinity. If you don't like to put infinity, you can put just some, some number which is really far away from 70 relative to its standard deviation. So we're going to put infinity, so I don't think about that. 1E99. And then we put the mean, which is 70. And the standard deviation. Now, it's this new standard deviation, the one from the sample of 36 golfers. We don't want to just dip in and get one golfer exceeds 71. We want to know the sample of 36 golfers exceeds 71. So it's going to be 0.5. I'm going to run out of room down here. Okay. But drawing that curve out really helps. I'm pretty good at these, and I still draw that curve out to help me think through these. Okay, so we're going to go to second distribution, normal CDF. Left bound is 71, right bound, infinity, 1E99. The mean is 70, and the standard error is 0 0.5. 0 0.00, or sorry, 0 0.1022, 2, 75, or 228. And we see here that is D. I hope that helps.